It's a humid morning here in the mountains of southern Appalachia. Our cool weather that we had is probably gone for good. The humidity's here. It's been really hot over the last few several days, hence my hat. I've had to drag out my hat so that I could kind of protect my face from the sun, from getting sunburned. But Matt and I have got to get the yard in control today. Katie's here too, so she may help us. But we've had a lot of rain and everything has grown. You can see the, the beans behind me, how great they look. But also the grass has grown and all the weeds. So we've got a lot of weed eating and a lot of mowing to do this morning. Lots of lizards around our house. Our bush beans are just covered in blooms. That should mean that in about a week, maybe a week and a half, we'll be able to pick beans. So exciting. I've been picking the tame blackberries, but now you can see the wild ones. They're starting to, starting to get ripe too. I replanted the pumpkins back here and so far in squash, winter squash, so far nothing has dug them up. So hopefully this time they'll make it. And then I see one right there that's come up. I don't know if that was one I planted originally. It has to be. Or either one that's volunteering from last year. But we'll see what it turns out to be. I really love the marigolds that we planted everywhere. I kind of went overboard, but they are so cheery and so pretty that I've really enjoyed them. Everything looks so much better once you get it cleaned up. Our potatoes are really dying back. That's got to be in the next week or so. We're going to have to take care of them. But look how that beautiful nasturtium has just climbed, climbed from over there and spread out over the potatoes. So pretty. We managed to get the greenhouse weed eated again. We need to take your all of everyone's advice that told us we should just put cardboard over it. So we need to do that and tamp some of it down. Maybe we can do that in the coming weeks. So Matt and I are going to tackle the, the tomatoes that are not doing very good down here. We're going to pull up the plants, but first we're going to have to pull off the tomatoes. They do have tomatoes on them. It's just something's killed the plant. Maybe, Matt, we could... Uh, uh, get some of the suckers off some of those up there and bring them down here and plant in their places. Okay. You think it's worth trying? These on the end look real healthy. It's just those couple of ones. wonder if it's like the six, six inches of rain we had. <laughs> Maybe. Well, we cut, pulled out some plants, cut back all the bad places on the others and decided to leave them. And as you can see, we got, what, a, about a third of a basket. Yeah. 
off those we pulled up with the green ones a few kind of red kind of orange but I guess Matt will have some green fried tomatoes in his future yes yeah I'm excited about that yeah I love them and probably not today but we'll try to bring some more tomatoes down here and replant in those places but yeah. won't be won't be today don't you think we got too much to do yeah I snuck down here to the blueberry bush to get me a snack. There's just something extra special about blueberries or anything when you can pick them right off the plant and then gobble them down. Sunshine may get on us here too. They talk fast. I can't hardly hold my popsicle. My arms are too weak from weed eating. It is. Our cold, our cool weather has left. Summer has arrived. Makes the popsicles taste extra good, though. You just wish you could put it all over your face. Yeah, sort of. Just imagine wading into a deep creek. I'm imagining fall with the leaves turning and the cold <laughs> air is what I'm imagining. Yeah. And the wood stove going. I can't function in this. It won't be long, as no. fast as time goes by. Can you believe July's here? Yep, it is. Be trading your popsicle for hot chocolate. Yep. Well, we feel like we were wore out, but we really didn't accomplish much. We about let the yard get away from us with all the funeral and everything, and then the rain. We've had a lot of rain, which has just made it grow faster. Yep. So, but it looks nice now that it's all put back in order. Yeah. It'll only be a week, though, till it needs it again. About three days. Oh. If it's like it has been. Yeah. You remember when we first moved in here, how much we struggled to have grass? And was mad because it's muddy when it rained yeah. and just patchy, dirty. And I kind of like to have that back now, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is one of our goals to get rid of the grass, but it didn't happen this past winter. Even though it is really hot today, it has been a really nice spring to be so mm. cool. But it sure turned off brutal today. Mm -hmm. It was hot at daylight. Yeah, it was. The Matt, Matt made high. Katie, when we first got up, said, Katie, come out here. Feel this. It's like we're at the beach. This is the first really humid weather we've had, don't you think? Yesterday, maybe, and today. Yeah. This is horrible. But now I'm a big baby when it comes to heat and humidity. I mean, I, I can't. Matt can't take I it. I cannot take it. I'd rather it be zero as is. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Most people ain't that way, but I am. I do feel better. We got the tomatoes down there. I don't know. We pulled some of them up, trimmed all the rest of them back. We'll see what happens with them. It's just crazy right there. And then up here, you look at how wonderful these all look. Yep. Just a difference in dirt. Yeah, that. And then that's like the, we have had a lot of rain. And this end of the garden is the worst dirt and the most red clay still, so yeah. it holds a lot of water. So maybe that's it. I don't know. That's the life of a gardener, though. You can have a plant that's right beside one, and it's flourishing, and the other one dies. Ooh, that feels nice, don't it? That is nice. Um, and you can't, there's no rhyme or reason. So it's just the life of a gardener, but um, all the tomatoes up here look great. And those, some of those down there actually look great. It's just the ones that didn't look great. So we harvested our first tomatoes, not because we wanted to, but because we had to.
I think we'll have beans, at least the bush beans, in another maybe week and a half. We'll have some, maybe the first mess of beans. Oh, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. We're still getting lots of little Tommy toes every day, eating them. One of the blueberry ones was ripe today, or we think it's ripe. We've never grew, grew them before, but it looks different and it's I can't soft. Tell. But I, I, you didn't taste it, did you? Just me? No. Yeah, I tasted it, and I, I was not impressed. But that was I only ate one, so maybe I should give some more. Oh, I'll have to give more a try because we planted them. But it didn't have that wonderful flavor like the Sun Golds or the one from Caroline and David or the Black Cherry. Anytime we try something new like that, I'll let you eat it first, and if you don't kill over, then I'll try it. Hmm. <laughs> Are you afraid of it because it looks funny? That's a wicked-looking thing. I think those were all Corys that she planted and she shared with us. Where did but, they come from? I don't know. If she Baker Creek, maybe. She just seen it look like it was a blueberry tomato and thought it looked good. And one of them, there's two different ones. Blueberry cream and then something else blueberry. One of them might, be, might have been mine, but I don't think so. Maybe one that somebody sent me. Uh, but we'll see. Maybe they'll grow on us or maybe that first one just wasn't fully ripe. We do have a big day though planned after we get go in and get cleaned up, comb our hair and wash our face as Granny would say. <laughs> We're going to head over to Silva for a book signing at City Lights Bookstore. Of course by the time you see this it'll all be over. But uh, this will be the first one that Matt gets to go with me on. So that's going <laughs> to be, last one. It's gonna be it? nice. Well there, there may be some more. It's all right. People keep asking me if I will come to the, if me and Jim will come to the Greenville Mass General Store. And I keep saying, if they invite me, I will come. So, if, you, if you're one of those people, maybe call the store and tell them to, that you heard we come to all the other Mass General Stores. Could we come there? But then, after this one, the next one, especially I wanted to announce this, we just found out in the last two or three days, for local people in my area and uh, North Georgia and um, Tennessee, I guess the tri-state area here. I'm going to be at the Cherokee County Museum there right in downtown Murphy on July 29th. And that's going to be from 11 till 2. And we'll just be signing books and talking. And I hope Matt can come to that one. He should be able to. But I hope Corey and Katie can come too. And it'll be all of us. On the weekend? Yeah. It's a Saturday. Saturday. <clears throat> and we'll remind you before then, between now and then. But... I don't get no better offers, I'll tell you. Wow. Well, I might need you there to do some maintenance on the building. Do y'all work on that building? Or that may not be one of yours. Well, it's technically not one of ours, but we have worked on it some. Mm. I mean, it's some kind of... Gray area? Yeah. It belongs to the town, but there's it has... I think it has, uh, I think our IT department takes care of the, mm. the communication yeah. stuff in yeah. it and then we we put lights in it and we've done a little work in it but not a whole lot. Mm. I'm excited about that one because it's local. I'm also excited about it because that museum is amazing if you've never been there. It, it just has so much in it, doesn't it? Yeah, it's nice. It's really nice. It has a lot of uh, Cherokee Indian artifacts and things like that but a lot of old implements and it's got the statue of the moon-eyed people yeah. that was found down there at the what do you call that I it's on the river walk where the, the forks of the river yeah it's forks of the river but it's really neat and the director of it teresa lifelong friend of ours her kids uh, her and mike's kids grew up with our kids and always been dear friends so i'm excited about that too that we'll be with teresa that day so That'll be a good one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they're good people. Yeah, and it would be worth coming not to see us, just to see the museum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just to walk around and, and see it. It's got a lot yeah. of wonderful things in it. Yeah, I like old stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of neat things. And they'll be selling my cookbook, so that's nice. Mine and Jim's. Mm -hmm. 
it's wonderful to travel around and meet people and go to different places but it's kind of nice too to do your to be right where you you know where your heart is i guess mm -hmm. so that's nice matt was talking about this heat and he said it's gonna be really nice to be on top of the courthouse in a few weeks yep yeah we gotta change two big big air conditioners on the roof roof mounted units and that's when it was scheduled for the last week of july so that will be really nice <laughs> it'll be hot yeah it'll be hot it'll, be hot. it'll take several days to do them mm. be hot. so fun times mm. let me see if i can drop some popsicles down on you from above yeah have uh, them delivered just deliver them by drone yeah they have melt before they got there, yeah, I guess. I guess so. I hope you got a lot of water that day, though. I usually take a gallon with me a day. And drink it before the day's out, usually, yeah. don't you? I mean, for doing something like that, I do. Yeah. Something real busy, real mm -hmm. hot. We're still kind of feeling like we're in a in the twilight zone, trying to get back to normal, but uh, the, this morning, even when we were moving ve we always have to move vehicles, no matter what we do. Yeah. I told Matt if we ever were blessed with a big farm or something, we would just have like a giant parking lot mm -hmm. <laughs> where 12 cars could park at mm -hmm. once, mm -hmm. separate from our parking. And I'd park in a different place every day just yeah. as a kid. Yeah, uh, that's another thing of li living on the Goat Bluff. There's no parking, and then when your daughter has three cars, and then you each have a car, and then if anybody comes, anyway... Matt was jockeying the vehicle so that we could mow and weed eat, and he was, before he was putting his truck, he said, I almost thought, oh, I better not park here because Miss Cindy will be coming because mm -hmm. she always come over. Uh, and we teased and laughed about the fact that when she did come over, she pulled all, she come up the driveway and then just kind of got right on the crest of the hill and stopped. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, I never did figure we that out. We never figured that one out. But anyway, so you always had to watch where you, you know, wanted to leave room for her to do that because that's how she parked. Um, anyway, it's hard to, hard to get used to in your mind when somebody, when you lose somebody. Mm -hmm. Yep. Take a little while to yeah. get used to that, I guess. Yeah. We've still got, we've done every day, done a few little things that we need to do as far as, you know, letting people know or doing business like related stuff, but we still have that to worry about to all of her things, to what to do in her house and all those things that you don't want to have to do but you'll have to do yeah yeah i mean honestly nobody don't bother it i'm fine to let it sit there a while till yeah we don't want to be in no big hurry yeah, but, but I mean, still it's a something we got to do yeah and it seems like when houses are empty they de decay quickly they so we don't want to do that and, and that's an old house it's an old house and then of course her things you know we don't want nothing to happen to her things mm -hmm. she had very nice she didn't have a whole lot of stuff but what she had was very nice mm -hmm. she was one of those people that went for quality over quantity yeah so and I, someone commented in the last two or three days and i can't believe we just never even thought about this or thought to mention it uh, just because we were just so focused on losing Miss Cindy, but somebody asked, said, I remember that she had a cat. What happened to her cat? What will you do with her cat? And I was like, how did we forget to mention that? How did we, we were just so upset about everything mm -hmm. and just not thinking. But she did have a cat, Yoda. She's had lots of cats over her lifetime. She was a cat person. Um, what was Charlie? Was that one of the first ones you remember when you were little? Mm -hmm. And she lived to be... 20 something 20 or 21 oh, yeah. like she was a Siamese is that mm -hmm. what she was so that's the cat Miss Hindy had when I first met Matt but then she had other cats um, and when she first moved out here she brought three with her yeah I four. think so three, three or four. four but over the years something happened to all of them but Yoda and some of them were his nephews or his mm -hmm. somehow they were related but Yoda was what she was left with, and he, was, he is over 20, or was mm -hmm. over 20. Well, he'd been declining for a couple of years, and Miss Cindy had kind of really nurtured him, and she knew a lot about animals, and she actually gave him IV fluids somehow, and just did everything, the, working with a vet, of course, mm -hmm. to take care of him. 
but it's strange he started to decline rapidly just like she did mm -hmm. maybe he at he, the same time at the same time maybe he knew maybe you know i don't know and she made me promise more than once that you know we would take care of him and do whatever needed to be done if if he outlived her which we dreaded having to worry about all that mm -hmm. but strangely he died two days before she did mm -hmm. so and we were worried about if she asked or if she, you know, cause she was, uh, most of the time he would get in the bed with her. She had like a step, he could go up and down and he'd lay there or she'd hear him and she'd ask if he's okay and he'd go outside and come back in. But, uh, so we were kind of worried about what she would say if she knew, I mean, we didn't want to hurt her and thought we'd just say that he was in the living room or he was outside or whatever, but she never asked. That was kind of at the point that she was getting um, kind of where she wasn't talking as much mm -hmm. or talking. So anyway, that's that's what happened. And I was like, when the person, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't remember the name, but the lady asked, I thought, how in the world did none of us mention, mention Yoda? We didn't, and Corey and Katie didn't either. But we were just too focused on Miss Sandy. Yep. I guess when you were little, you traumatized your cats, didn't you? I was a little rambunctious, and they didn't like it. Yeah. And they were used to peace and quiet with her. Yeah, and I was like a wrecking ball running all over the place. Yeah. Pretty wild. Yeah. And the one she had later, like Yoda and the bunch that she had with him, they were skittish they didn't come around they didn't especially when Corey and Katie was little they didn't again like rambunctious loud people and so they would hide and not come out and I reckon Yoda finally give up and thought these people ain't never gonna get out of here so he had to, over the years he got accustomed to all of us he kind of liked me for some reason yeah he did uh, even back then he was the only one that she could entice like when she still lived in Black Mountain entice out to try to show Corey and Katie yeah yeah yeah, he liked you. All animals like you, though. Matt's like a animal whisperer. I guess. Dogs, cats, whatever. Bees. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bees especially. Yeah. Um, I just about got eat up this morning. Yeah, and sadly, I could have warned Matt, and I didn't. And I think you might have done that on purpose. I didn't do it on purpose, but he was finishing up the weed eating, and I went down in the front and was looking at the beans and trying to weave the where they're coming off the top weave them back in and he come down through there and he said just so you know there's a bee's nest up there and I said uh you mean between the logs on the at the blackberries he's like yeah I was like I'm sorry I forgot to tell you that I noticed it when I was picking blackberries um, so Matt found it with a weed eater. Yeah, that'd have been some information I'd like to have had. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just forgot all about it. And I it's... think you went around the corner of the house and was peeking and watching <laughs> and laughing. No, I wasn't doing that. I wasn't doing that. Uh, I just totally forgot. But when I was picking blackberries, I heard them and I seen them go in the little crevice there and thought, oh, there's a nest in there. And then I never thought nothing else about it because they don't bother me. I can be all around them and unless I really touch their nest or something, they don't sting me. Well, I touched their nest with a weed eater, and there's a whole bunch of them coming out of me. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Katie, do you need us? No. Katie's wandering around. She'd been down at Granny's to take Granny some honey. What's Granny doing with honey? I don't know. She's doing it. Oh, well. Maybe she's just eating it. I figured she might be making something. She's making something. I'm just letting you know that I was here. Okay. Uh-huh. Thanks. Okay. Right. See ya. Shuffle along. <laughs> Shuffle Daddy along. Said shuffle along. Oh. Katie's gonna go with us this evening too, so that'll be be fun. We're gonna let Corey stay home and rest. She's she's been on most of them with me, but she's gonna stay home. Of course this will be one of the easier ones. There's no spending the night or driving too far. So You spend the night in Hilltail. In Silva? Yeah, or halfway between here and there, we can car camp or something, make an adventure out of it. Yeah. Well, no, I'm too old for car camping. Yeah, me too.
Well, I mean, depending on if I had the forerunner and had a big mattress back in the back like we used to do, that'd you be just, fine. You get a trailer and haul a queen bed with us <laughs> where we go, and then you can camp. Yeah. Granny seen some kind of deal, of, I don't even know, I can't remember now, where she heard about it. Somebody told her about a camper for sale, and she's, this has been a month or two ago, and she's trying to tell me that I need to buy it. And I said, I don't, I don't, I mean, I can't even think about a camper right now, Granny. And I said, why do you want me to buy one anyway? She said, well, if, I, if it was me, I'd buy one myself. And I said, what would you do with a camper? And uh, she's never been big on camping or anything, but especially now when she's very, you know, kind of, feeble getting around and I said what would you do with a camper she said well I'd put it out back and I'd stay in it if I wanted to <laughs> and I said well I, okay I don't know about that but I said I don't uh, I just don't know I don't think right now me and Matt want to get a camper or whatever I said and she said well I just thought that you could take it with you to the cookbook signings and I said, well, and she said, that way you wouldn't have to stay in a hotel. And I said, well, I, but it'd be hard to park a camper probably. And especially if you drove it, if it was that kind of camp, it was like a, what do you call them, that you drive is what she had seen. Oh, like um, kind of like a little mini RV or something. Yeah, or a, yeah, something like that, whatever. Winnebago, whatever you call right. them. Yeah, that you drive, that's what she'd seen. I said, and it would be kind of hard to, you'd have to worry about parking it wherever you were at. Mm -hmm. Anyway, but then the truth come out. Well, I thought if you had a camper that I could go with you. Okay. <laughs> I could go with you and I'd have everything I needed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said, well, oh, well, people would love to meet you, that's for sure. Yeah, they would. Yeah. Granny's always got a motive, usually, don't she? Yeah. She's got something. Keep digging, you'll find you'll it. You'll find it, yeah. So finally it come out. That was really why she wanted to wanted me to go buy the camper or whatever. Granny's a mess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but when she first said that, I was like, you want a camper? Because <laughs> you don't. Yeah, that's you're, strange. You're not a camping person. I mean, Matt do want, not necessarily a camper, but we want to figure out a way to go camping easily. We used to camp a lot. We used to camp a lot. It's been yeah. a lot of years since yeah. we've been camping. Need to do it. But somewhere easy so that we could just... And it is easy to, like in the Forerunner or something, because you can put a tarp over it and you can sleep in the back, but maybe a little bit more room than that. Mm -hmm. Look up in the woods and sleep in the hammock. Yeah. That's all right with me. I like to camp. I do too. I always did. Yeah. I don't mind staying in the tent either, but I'd like to have a cot or something to get off the ground. Yeah, I can't lay on the ground no more. Those days, me and Matt used to go, and we didn't even... We just took a sleeping bag and slept mm -hmm. right on the ground. No foam, no nothing. We'd be crippled now. It'd be a hospital trip now. <laughs> yeah. Now Thomas, that did all of our work for us, he he had a what would you call it? What do you call that? It's like a uh, enclosed trailer. Enclosed trailer. A utility trailer utility that he trailer. made into a camper. And now that was amazing. That's he showed nice. us pictures of it, and him and his wife took it all the way out west, and mm -hmm. took it lots of places around here. But it was it was nice. Mm -hmm. And he I said thought about doing that. He said he found out that was much cheaper route doing that and doing it the way you wanted it instead of doing the buying a camper or whatever. The campers are expensive. And then he could pull it. I don't remember what kind of car his wife had. I guess it was it like was an like SUV a, or like something. Like a little Equinox. Yeah. And you could pull it with that yeah. so they didn't have to worry about having a big truck right. to he's got trucks but they didn't have to worry about something big to pull it you know yeah he pulled it all the way out there with a car yeah so and that was in it. he showed us pictures it was amazing it's really nice and how he had how they had it set up and how they even had a little makeshift shower at the back mm -hmm. and uh, really nice. where you could do it outside but you had to surround the thing that mm -hmm. folded out or come out whatever oh so it was mm -hmm. nice Oh, you can do that in your spare time. We might have to look into that because yeah. that'd be a good project too. Something, something neat to do. Yeah, and we have him. He's an expert. He's done. He's done. Been through all the yeah. uh, finding out all the hard what he wished he'd done, or he, you know, if he'd have done it this way or that way or whatever. Right. So I'm sure he'd be willing to help us, give us advice. Yeah. Be our general contractor. Yeah. <laughs> It's just um, something really nice, though, about even if you are in a tent, being beside a mountain stream and waking up with coffee and I can't drink Eat coffee up. no more, but and eggs and yeah. bacon. And yeah, or sitting around the fire at night. Yeah, or come in that evening with some fresh fish oh, yeah. to cook on the fire. You can't That'd beat be nice. that. Yeah. 
be nice. I really like that. Maybe that's something we can plan for. Yeah. In our older age. Yeah. I'd rather plan for it next week, you know. Oh, I do. <laughs> yeah. Oh. We're about to be planning, though, to do a lot of canning because <laughs> it's going to all of a sudden be a bonus. Yeah, it's all going to happen at once. Yeah. That's how it does. It'll be okay. I'll tell you what we need to do, we need to either, we need to do both. We need to make a bunch of kraut and we need to make a bunch of pickled corn. Yeah. But we're going to have to go find some corn. Yeah. And Daddy's supposed to let me know when that place over in Dillard's got it. Because mm -hmm. that's real good corn. Yeah. And I'd like to make some because we ain't done it in the last couple of years or three yeah. or however long it's been. And I really like the stuff, but it's a good idea to keep doing it so you can stay in practice because right, so that's you don't lose the those skills right those things are it's already about going I mean people yeah. don't do it yeah what'd well, be great is if Papa come out here and assisted yeah his his it's I can so do it good. I can do it exactly like him and mine ain't half as good it's as his so good it's the best ever he he perfected that somehow yeah he's got it down pat or we'd go out there and do it at his house but yeah, yeah we need to do that I really like that stuff yeah. <clears throat> it's mighty good alongside some fried deer tenderloin. Oh my goodness, and, corn, and cornbread. Look at that little hummingbird. See it? Yep. Oh, sweet. Yeah, that and deer meat and cornbread, that's a feast. You don't need anything else. Yeah. That's it. And, you know, it wouldn't hurt if you had some soupy taters with it, yeah. but that's just a scrumptious meal. It sure it's is. one that we like to eat in the wintertime more than the summer right. because it's just so... I don't know, hearty and comforting all at the same time, and those pickled uh, vegetables give a brightness to your kind of oh, your yeah. winter diet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I enjoy it. Yeah, we've been eating, of course, green onions and lettuce and stuff, but we've also been eating little Tommy Toes with all of our meals, and even that just adds a vibrant. Oh, yeah. Matt had some with his breakfast this morning. Yeah. Adds a spot of brightness to him. Mighty fine. Yeah. Fresh picked tomatoes alongside. Uh, the eggs is real good. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is. Tomato and eggs could really mm -hmm. go together somehow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even canned like the uh, tomato dish I make with the eggs and mm -hmm. the cheese. If you missed that video, I'll link to it. But that's a real quick, easy supper. And when I did it, uh, I learned about it in a cookbook. I, I explained in the video. I won't tell you all that. But in the comments, lots of people called it. I can't remember now, but it's a name of a dish from another country. Mm -hmm. Maybe even two or three countries. But so it's probably, you think about eggs and cheese and tomatoes, that's world all around the world. Different people uh, eat some kind of combination of that, but it's really good. Yeah, and we're about due for some of it again. Yeah, I know. You are. Got something in my face. And I guess we're about due to go in and comb our hair and wash our face and try to get all the, when you weed eat, all the little stuff all over you try to get all that off <coughs> we usually take a niceness as my grandma used to yeah, say get niceness. that niceness off of you usually take a broom and sweep ourselves especially matt he gets it worse i'm talking about going there and laying down in the creek yeah i'd feel good yeah. take a cold shower yeah It'd be good for steve and kim to look out their back door and see matt in the creek see me out there in my drawer tail yeah <coughs> Yeah, they, <laughs> they might not be able to unsee that. <laughs> they might not. Yeah. As always, we're thankful and glad that you stopped by to help us um, celebrate Appalachia, which this time of the year is a whole lot about making a garden and a whole lot about family. You know, you've been really kind to us through this ordeal of losing Miss Cindy. And I, I mean, the cards, I just can't tell you how beautiful all the cards, I mean, just touched us, each one of them. And all the kindness from the comments, the emails, the, I mean, I, I know just everything. And I know a lot of you have donated to Martins Creek Cemetery Fund. Thank you for that. Thank mm -hmm. you for the things you've sent us. We just appre could never repay you. You're so kind, and we appreciate you so much.
<laughs> I think I swallowed a bug. <laughs> I really do. Or a piece of grass yeah. off of one of us. You don't have to eat lunch, yeah. Yeah, some protein. I think it's crawling back up my throat, though. Tired. Mm -hmm. Me too. I mean, you could get in the back of the car and nap while Katie drives. I could. Yeah. I could. Of course, we may be dead before we get there. She's a pretty good driver. Her and Corey both. They're way better than they used to be. Or either I've just got, don't care anymore. I used to can't, couldn't ride with them for going like, Yeah. and now I just look out the window and let them go. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry about it. Corey drove me all the way to, she drove me all the way to Roanoke and Boone. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And back. Let me rest and look out the window. She wanted me to sleep, especially on the way to Boone, but I was too keyed up to sleep thinking about worrying about Miss Cindy. But, <coughs> but she did good. Katie hammering. She must have went back to work. Yeah, I thought she wasn't going to work this week. I don't know. Can't ever tell about her. No. Can't. Can't tell about her. These tomatoes up here just look amazing. Look how many is on them. That's a lot of tomatoes. And some of them are great big, And too. that's just the first flush. There's blooms all over the tops right. of them. It means many made her sandwiches. Yeah. I would, I'd like to, of course, I don't want to pick these to do it, but I'd like to make some green tomato pickles. Did you make them your daddy's recipe or Frankie's recipe? Or? I don't know the difference in them, but I know daddy's I like because they're hot. Yeah, you like, well, I think Frankie's recipe says if you want to put hot peppers, you could. Now, every they did it last year, about every year, I mean, they did always did it in the past, but I know they did it again last year. But the Chastines meet over there, and mm. they do them together. My goodness, I like them. Do times. like an assembly line. I should go, I mean, if they would let me document that, because that's such a wonderful thing, and they've been doing it for so many years. Mm. I just love that. Yeah, whole family gets whole together. Whole family and, gets together and do and it. And do it, and then split and it up. split it up, yeah. That's just wonderful. That's an old-timey thing from yeah. way back, you know. Right, that's wonderful. That's how people used to do hogs. Yeah, yeah. If they'd help help with the hog killing and putting up they'd get part of the meat yeah um it's in that interview that clay when i interviewed him he said that his daddy did that would go and <coughs> help people and then they'd give him part of the meat and then at some point he decided he'd start charging them five dollars and he said nobody wanted him to come no more <laughs> so <laughs> but papa wade used to do that too yeah. daddy said but everything back then, which I know they needed, I mean, it was just an excuse to get together. Plus, it was many hands make light work, right. but they would do bean stringings and berry mm -hmm. picking and corn, corn shucking, all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And then they would add to the, uh, like the corn shuckings, what was it, if the, you found, they'd hide a red ear in there, and then if you found it, you got to kiss somebody or yeah. something. Yeah, kiss a girl. Yeah, or something. So they'd add stuff to it, but right. it was a, become a, Social event, yeah. all those kind of things. Sometimes they'd add a jar of liquor in the corn pile. And the men found it, I guess. Yeah. Usually they do something like that, and then they might have some food and some, or they probably always have food, but then they might have some music. Somebody have a fiddle. Right. And they'd have a banjo. Yep. That's a little bit better entertainment than Netflix in my book. Absolutely. <laughs> Watching our chickens is. Oh, yeah. They're sunning over there. Yep. Preening. Mm hmm. Well, the yard looks better. And the tomatoes down here look better. I won't mm -hmm. be haunted by them every time I walk by them. Looking how terrible. And they'll either, those they'll others will either spruce up or, yeah, we'll take them all out. That might help them though, cutting back all that stuff. You check those up there on the bank? Yeah, there's little pear-shaped ones. None of them was ripe. There's probably some ripe Tommy toes up there right now though. 
I swear I come out here and picked three or four red ones, and now I can't find red Tommy Toes anywhere. They were saw uh, this red, like a bright tomato. And maybe you picked them all. I mean, but I, there should be some more on the plant, don't you think? It's probably that great big tall one right there. Well, that's I where I thought it was, but then when I go over and look today, I don't see, I see orange ones on it. I don't know, I, I think I did plant some kind of strange thing, like a bumblebee it was called, that's supposed to have different colors. Maybe that was it. I see, I have no memory what I even done with that one. What in the world did me and Corey do? You know, I need to break out the breathalyzer. No, no breathalyzer, but maybe next year you ought to just supervise or something. I wonder if when we were planting them is when we got them mixed up. Not, well, not when we planted them in the greenhouse, but when we planted them out here. Maybe on one side it said Cherokee Purple right. and was marked through, but it, it really on the other side it said Bumblebee yeah, or whatever. Yeah, what's going on is we're using the same cups from year to year to year, and they've got stuff rowed on them, and then you get mixed up. Yeah. I think that's what it is. I think so, too, probably. We probably should just buy new cups every year. They're or cheap. Put, use some masking tape and tape over it, like yeah. put a thing over it or something. I don't know, something. Yep. All right, we better go comb her hair and wash her face and scrape the grass off of your hair. I'm gonna have to take a bath. Yeah, no, I am too, probably. I got it all up and down my arms. Nice and around my pee. neck, got what you call those baby jewels. When you're a baby and you get some from your bottle. Neck jewels. Is that what it's called? Yeah, something like that baby jewel beads or baby beads or something, I don't know. Been too long, I can't remember. Yeah, no, we ain't had babies in too long. Queen Katie even had fat little necks. Oh, yeah. And the crest, crevices there, they'd get yeah. stuff lined, you know, you have to wash them. Yeah. I seen that picture the other day of me and Mama. When yeah. I was really little, good night, I was fat. Yeah, you was chubby too. I don't know, I don't know what they fed me. I want to hear him tell it, like Alex. Yeah. Steak. Side and meat and steak and, <laughs> and biscuits and gravy. That's why he's so big, and I I'm still in a diaper. Yeah, well, look at him. They, what did Mark tell you? They feed him steak, pork, steak and, and, pork chops and bananas. And bananas, all he eats. <laughs> he ain't got but six teeth. I know. He's so But cute. he sure is healthy looking. Oh, he is. He's so cute. A fine looking boy. Mm hmm. time we gotta leave. I don't know, but we better go. Let's go. You gonna find Nelly? Oh, I forgot about that, yeah. What you wanna do today? If you do something crazy like you usually do. I don't know. We're getting the mm -hmm. Okay. I could hold up a tomato. My hat won't let me reach back there. <laughs> do you feel stupid? Right. You could do like this. Yeah. Could do it. Work. Let's just do one smile. We did one smile, didn't we? Yeah. All right. We're good. You'll do one frowning. No. <laughs> well, I can't. Now that you've said that, it'd be. I can't look frowning. Yeah, you can. No, I can't. I can say something make you mad and you look frowning. No, I don't want you to say something make me mad. Because well. then I'll be mad. Okay. I gotta get a drink of water and wash this bug on down my throat. I need some foodies. Yeah. We better eat. I have, no, I have ready. come unfed. Come unfed? Yeah. We've had... Uh -oh. That has to. Yeah. Wow, well, she's just laid an egg. She's announcing. And the rest of them's like, who cares? I'm not moving. She sure is loud. Is that Clover? Yeah. Oh, she's the loudest. Yeah, she's got a cackle little cut glass. Yeah. And she gets right on top of you and does it. Yeah.
That reminds me of you a little bit. She is mildly. Actually, reminds me of Katie a little bit. Yeah, well, she's hard chicken, so, yeah. 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 You said you'd come unfed. I was going to say, well, you've had one square, so you need, how I many, what was that? Three a day. Three, Three a squares day. a day. Yeah. So you need need a couple more. You've yeah. had one square. It's time for your second square. What I need to do is only eat one and a half or two a day, especially in this heat, and I I'll feel better. I know. But I sure do like to eat, to my own detriment. Yeah, let's go. Right. Oh, mercy.